go. Hi everyone, I am Noa Kibiditswe, situated in Botswana, all the way from the beautiful continent of Africa, and you are watching the PIFF Connection, courtesy of UCCN TV. Hotep family, Hotep, peace and blessings that greet you in the name of God and the ancestors in whose footsteps I most humbly walk. This is Brother Ed Omoja. We're here for another Piff Connection. We're here in Philadelphia. You know, we have a very special guest here with us today, right? You know, for those of us who have animals, uh, maybe they need to get trained or you just like to know more about animals and stuff, especially dogs. We have a ex we have an expert dog trainer here with us today. So Mr. Owens is here with us at, at Piff Connection. Be and the reason we're doing this, family, is because on movie sets, if you see an animal in a movie, there's a trainer behind the camera somewhere to help them work that animal. So once again, when we talk about a multi, globally, a multi-trillion dollar industry that a film industry is, there's a lot of jobs behind the camera. So we're going to talk to Brother Owens about, um, we're going to get a little backstory where he came from, they're going to talk about the business, and they're going to talk about where he's going with the business in the future. So we'd like to welcome to the Piff Connection here in Philadelphia, Brother Owens. How you doing, sir? Thank you. I'm doing fine. <laughs> so, you know, um, my wife told me about you. Okay. <laughs> hey, the women, the women, the women, the women. So just introduce yourself to people. Let's let them give them a little backstory about who you are and what you do, and then we'll go forward from there. Okay. I'm David Owens. I own Northeastern Canine Dog okay. Training. Okay. Um, I grew up in Philadelphia. Okay. Um, after I, I lived in Philadelphia, or in the Philadelphia area all my life except for five and a half years in Marine Corps. Okay. Um, oh, Marine. Oh, hoorah. Uh, hoorah. <laughs> right? okay. And uh, I've been training dogs for about 30 years professionally. Mm -hmm. um, if you talk to some people who've known me all my life, they say, well, you train dogs when you're little too, okay. but I say trainers train. Okay. So um, I've done television, I've done film, I've done movies. Uh, the last major movie I did was um, The Brave One with Jodie Foster, the dogs okay. in that movie are my know. dogs. Oh, really? Uh huh. Uh, oh. So, and uh, that's, you know, the, okay, so the background. Okay, so wow, that's a lot. See what I'm telling you, family? When we talk about this multi-trillion dollar industry, here's a brother, you guys probably have never seen him on film, mm -hmm. but he's behind the camera training dogs for a movie with Jodie Foster. We all know who Jodie Foster is, right? Right. Academy winner, she, she won an Oscar. I, I think yeah, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about, when did you know, going back, when did you know you wanted to do this? What made you... Do, what, it, what made me do it for a living or what well made, before what you started living you started doing for fun, I do it for fun. fun. absolutely right. so, i did it as a hobby i did it as a kid mm -hmm. um when i was uh, a young teenager around 13 i read all the dog training books i had cool. the encyclopedia of dogs right and, oh, okay. uh, and i would try to teach my dog things so okay. as i got older um people would after the marine corps when i got home people mm -hmm. say can you help me Mm -hmm. Right, and so it's like, sure, I, I'll oh, give you a cool. hand. Now, did you do? Did you do this in the Marine Corps? Did you do anything? Else? I did not. I did not train dogs in the Marine Corps okay. or had anything to do with that at all. Okay. okay right. Exactly. So this is afterwards. Right. So that, so there's a, a small gap mm -hmm. of not doing anything. Okay. When I when I uh, came home. Okay. Right. Started training dogs, helping people train their dogs, helping my friends train wait, their wait, dogs. Wait, 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 wait. So when you came home from the Marines. Right. What made you want to train dogs? That's like, was it like you had options? Because the Marines. Well, I did have them. options. So I, what made you so do that? So I was. I, this was not the start of the professional <laughs> okay. thing. Because when I came home from the Marine Corps, I went to um, Temple University. I, okay. I have a degree in economics and a degree in finance, a okay. dual degree. So I was in school, okay, right? And, and I did odd jobs around school. So on the weekends, make a little bit of money, you know, tra yes, train, train some dogs, yeah, right? <laughs> Go ahead, so, so the reason I asked right. you that was there's a lot of people watching, and I, I'm glad you said that because, you know, it wasn't your primary field. It was not my primary was, field. So a lot of us have hobbies. Right. Like myself, photography was my hobby, and then I went into film and so forth and so on. Right. I got my degree in aerospace electronics. Mm -hmm. So now, now, so we have a little back. So this was, like, so you came out of the Marines, you got your degree, but this was like your weekend gig. This is my weekend gig. I, it was a hobby. I okay. did the sport of IPO or shuts and what they call it. Okay. So I, I've titled dogs in that particular sport. It's like a uh, police style of sport okay. um, where the dogs have to track, do obedience, do protection. Okay. So I, I was really involved in that sport as my hobby. Okay. I also, once again, people who weren't involved in sports say, okay, well, he has a trained dog. Maybe he can help me. Maybe. Right. Yeah. So, so I was completely in that. Meanwhile, I was 
going to college. I graduated from college, um, going into my career. I worked at um, Drexel Burnham Lambert. I worked at Prudential okay, Securities. Okay, cool. So I've done those things. Hated it, right? <laughs> but paying the but, bills. <laughs> right, but, but exactly. And, and so it's like, why are you doing something mm. that you hate? doing right. when you could do something that you would do for free. Now, I, I know a lot of our, right. a lot of our audience are going, mm-hmm. Right, right, <laughs> right, right. So, so I, I had to uh, step out and step away from that. Okay. So. okay, so now that you're doing the, now that so you're, you're going into the dog train more, mm-hmm. what certificates or degree did you have to go back to school to get to? to? You do not have to go back to any major schools to train dogs. As a matter of fact, you're not required to have a certification at all to train dogs. And so I I tell people, be careful who they choose. Make sure the person talking to you makes sense. They should be able to show you what they're talking about with their dog and your dog. dog. So it's like if I came to your house to build a cabinet, you want to see pictures, right? right, What have you done before? Talk to some people. Show me where you're coming from with that. Right, so I typically will bring my dog with me, right? Or I will typically take your dog, especially if it's a dog that other people are afraid of, I will take your dog and show you what obedience looks like with your dog. Oh, cool. So that's how I get by that. But I, I did go to um, school out in Las Vegas. Uh, at in the, Las Vegas? In Las Vegas. Uh-huh. It was a, a school called, um, it's now called Sit Means Sit, but it, it was called um, No Limitations School uh-huh. of Dog Training. Right, and so I went there because it's good to have a, cert- a certification on the wall, so people say, "Well, somebody else well, what, agrees that, that like he can do." Eighteen months, six months. Or? That was three months. Three but no, months. that was actually it was three weeks. But up until that point, I had already done movies. Okay. I had already, already yeah, done so you had, comedy. So you, so you had, you had, probably had you right. Had, you probably had a resume bigger than a trainer. I, I, I a exactly. <laughs> so I, I had, I had already done a number of things. Okay. Um, they they did have some things that they helped me with, and it's like a continuing education right, with, right. with wherever you are. Okay, so gotcha. there were some things that I absolutely didn't know, oh, okay. that, that, and and I'm still learning okay, cool. uh, from some people from time to time when I go and uh, and see things. So what kind of dog do you have? Do you have? I currently have a Malinois. I actually, I actually uh-huh. a Malinois. Yes. I, and oh, really? Yes. There's not too many of those around here. They're not. I've had Malinois for about 24, 25 years. No, so right. now, what, what, why did you pick that dog to be your personal? It matches my personality. Uh, right. I get to go out and I get to do things. I had Malinois when people had no clue what it was. When people oh. say, "What type of dog is that?" and I'd be like, "Whatever, it's just a dog." <laughs> They're like, is it, "Is it a German Shepherd mix?" No, so like, yeah, no, right. And, and yeah. I, I keep it moving. Um, it's obviously not the dog for everyone. It'll tear your home up, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and bite your friends. Right? Bite your friends, <laughs> right? You, have, you, have, you won't have too many friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, all my friends are just as crazy as I am, okay, so okay, cool. they'll come in. But um, it's it's you have to look for the dog that matches you, yeah. right? If if you like to sit on the sofa and uh, and maybe just go out once in a while, then you don't want a Malinois, right? You probably shouldn't have a dog. <laughs> But there, there are dogs that are more laid back. Yeah, yeah. You, you can have, uh, when I think of a laid back dog, I'm thinking of like a greyhound, believe it or not. You know? Really? Yeah. Well, I don't think, okay. Uh, well, a, a greyhound, um, you take it on a walk in the morning, it goes for his little run. Mm-hmm. It'll act like a cat the rest of the day, most oh, of the time. Yeah, lay in his see, bed and chill. Yes, greyhounds are very chill dogs. Oh, cool. Right. Okay. So, oh. so you, you have to just go with what you like to do. You, you like to hike, you like to travel, but this is what I want. Okay. Right? So that's the first one. I hope you guys got a lot of information in the first segment. So we're going to come back and we're going to talk to them about, um, I'd like to get into people who have children, dogs that, you know, that's probably better for them than other okay. dogs. Because a lot of people get dogs and they say, oh, my child of himself, so forth so right. So when we come back, let's talk about the kind of dogs you see that's best suited for, for a family with children. Right. Okay. So we'll be right back. This is the Piff Connection. We're here in, we're here in Philadelphia, PA, with brother David Owens, who is a dog trainer. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and we'll be right back, okay? Thank you.